Now Ghana is better than your country. Far better than my country. Like now I see the reason why they are running out. Now Ghana is better than your country, right? <laughs> now you agree. We are really trying in this Nigeria. Wow, what are you trying for? It's not easy to be alive till this in time. In this Nigeria. Seriously. Now what I think if I have an opportunity right now to leave the country. Like if I am opportuned to leave this country right now. To leave this country. Why do people they even take an opportunity of living and you know Nigeria is a good country? Nigeria, Why are people running away? We can't stay. Like it's just to Why are you people running away from Nigeria? It's too hard to stay in. Nigeria is hard. It's hard. It's really hard right now. Ghana is really a beautiful place. Hmm? Ghana, Ghana is a beautiful place. Uh -huh. Beautiful. It's a nice place to be. Uh -huh. like, you too yeah, to people be. there are also nice. Uh -huh. like, it's not like people in Nigeria are not nice over. Uh -huh. Ghana is cool, yeah. It's, cool. it's nice. That's why it's trending here. I I think so. To me. To you that is it. Are you proud enough of Nigeria right now? What are you really proud? Are you proud enough of Nigeria? I don't think so. Why? I don't think so. Give me just tell me the reason why you are not proud of Nigeria. Like I said, hmm. things are high. Things are high. Things are extremely high. Uh -huh. Like they are so high. So I can't be in the country that I won't have food to eat. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of my personal needs and wants. So how can I say that I'm proud of the country? I'm proud of like, the country. Uh, wow. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Your name? My name is Mohammed Karima. I'm from Nigeria. Right. I just want to know more about the system. How your system working in Nigeria is? Okay. So um, first of all, Nigeria is a very beautiful country. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's cool, but things inside is not safe at all. Like this is a very beautiful environment that we are right now, but the country is not safe. Like cost of living is so high in Nigeria and too expensive to live in and there's no money we, we are just suffering over here That's what kind of suffering are you suffering? like we barely eat a day like we barely eat three times a day food is expensive mm -hmm. almost everything here is expensive imagine me going to school I don't have money to pay for my school fees and other things like it's just so frustrating. Nigeria, Nigeria, no, it's too much for us to bear already. Like, the country is so high. Cost of living is... The cost in living. Now, very, very uh, the cost living in Nigeria is high. It's high. Why? What's kind of high? What? Like, what is the problem? You can't go to school. Your school fees is expensive. Your parents don't have money to cater for your education, your needs, your personal needs. Even to eat, like food is very expensive. Most of the things here are expensive. Our food, what our light, everything is just ah oh god. And what actually? What what happened? Why all these things are expensive? I don't know. Due to the new change of system, cause we just what kind of system? Like we just change our president. Mm -hmm. Then what's going to happen when you change your president? Like I don't, I don't really know. They said he's not the one that's supposed to be there, and the man said we should. Well, you know, both your president. Who's the one voting? Who do you vote for? I vote for Ododo. Uh -huh. What of for president? For president, this is gov Ododo now governor. Okay. Sorry. For president, sorry. who do you vote for? I did not vote. Why? How, how are they going to be changing if you do not vote for president? Okay, I was busy. Busy for your own time of voting to vote your president. You are busy. Then you two are the one contributing for it because you did not vote or your vote is not going to be counted. You know, like it's not going to be counted. Uh -huh. Then why do you not vote? Um, I don't know, kind of busy. That busy, day. what kind of busy? You are in your boyfriend's house or, or no, your boyfriend? No, 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 I have things to do, like I have books to read for my upcoming exam. So, but it's the I time to use for you to choose the, the best president now, no matter anything you do. You have to go and find a way to find your way and make sure you vote for your president. Then what happened? I was just busy. You're just busy for president. That means you are the one also contributing for what is happening to Nigeria right now. Of course. You are busy, you are the one causing it. Okay, now, 
I'm hearing that uh, they are packing a lot of ladies from this Una area here to Ghana for prostitution, for actual job and all those things. Do you ever hear any idea about that before? Yeah, I, I heard a story once saying okay. ladies are leaving Nigeria to Ghana. Then what happened? <laughs> but the thing is that, like, if you can barely eat in your country mm -hmm. and you have to find a way to go to like survive so i think maybe those ladies they think that that's the best way for yeah, them because now you're right you know what about you now like you as there now me i can't i can't do that cause... why you can't do that okay fine i'm a decent person number one i can i can't just go and sell my body for money and other stuff like it's not making sense at all to sell your body to sell my how can i be selling my and but those ones who are selling their body what happened maybe they have their more or is it? because of suffering because or... of suffering and other things but me selling my body is no it's no not good at all especially for money for what it's, it's not making, it's not making sense. sense for you yeah it's not making then sense. those people who are going there what advice do you have for them I, if they I are really your sister think, and they are relative, I really think they should like get the, back to themselves, mm -hmm. sit down, mm -hmm. think about their life, mm -hmm. and maybe start up a little thing mm -hmm. for themselves. But although at the same time you say that the country is not nothing is working in the country, how do you expect them to and start something without not doing that? Still, prostitution is not the is not the key. Okay, what is the key now? Okay, if you can like okay as a decent lady uh -huh. if you can like have someone to like take care of your needs personal needs and wants then if you can have someone yeah take care of your personal need. needs and uh -huh. what you gonna happen then you just be loyal to the person and come on from there you'll see something to do yes, and okay okay now so what of all those uh, the little boy that they are packing them from Ghana Jack stay to go and do fraud on that age. What is your advice to all those people? Um they are guys, right? Mm -hmm. They need to hustle. This kind that of hustle on that age. Boys. Can you allow your brother uh, of thirteen years to go and uh, hustle? Thirteen yeah. years. Yeah. That's the problem we have in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Then but what is your, the problem? Your parents are supposed to take care of you. you then, but what is small. going to happen to the parents? That's why we are saying there is no money, no food, no uh -huh. nothing, nothing. That's why they are just running. Because, come on, if your parent is giving you what you want, if your parent is giving you food, giving you money, you have no reason to go and, okay, you want to blow, like you want to make money, fast money on your own. That is, <clears throat> if the boy is actually sensible enough, mm. I think he'll just calm down after his education, then go for a better job. But in Nigeria, presently, now there's no job. People are suffering. Like, if you are a graduate, you can see a graduate riding keke in Nigeria. In Nigeria, a graduate is riding keke. Graduate is, is selling, selling was not making sense at all. Like. Mm. It's not, it's, not, it's not making sense in Nigeria okay. at all. Now, but about last year, I saw a lot of Nigerian tripping to Ghana to go and school there. What's making them running there? Okay, uh, to go and school in Ghana. Yes, what happened to your education? Education, education, I think education is okay here. For a year, then why are people running? Um, I don't know, maybe due to their personal reasons. Or maybe uh, they don't want to school in Nigeria. For what reason? For... For their personal reasons. Uh, so, for their personal reasons. Yeah. Uh, maybe you just want to school for Nigeria. Yeah, for... maybe they don't, they don't just want to school in Nigeria. Or... For their own. Or maybe they have the means to go to Ghana. Like, it depends on where you want to school. It's uh, your choice. You right? now. Like, you now. When you are for their own personal reasons. But like, you now as you are now. And you have the opportunity in Ghana now. What will you do? <laughs> will you remain because of this? Okay. Will you if remain I here? I have an opportunity to in, yeah, Somebody Ghana. just come for you and say, Hey, man, let me just have your phone number and push it there. In this uh, condition that you are moving now. What With will happen? In this present condition? Yeah, yes. I don't think I was saying anything. Like <laughs> Why you not stay? <laughs> what is the reason? I will see them, right? Uh -huh. I will see them presently now. But you still run away. I will still go. What happened? Give me the reason. I just want to know. Why? 
Why is me, what think... Because you just want to run and leave the country. No, it's not like I just want to run and leave my country like that. Uh -huh. What happened? Okay, so the person will be the one to sponsor. My yes, an example now. For the uh, for the example now, what will you do? If it's come to how it to you now, what will you do? <laughs> will you still stay for Kokizapi country, speaking, right? Honestly speaking, I will, I will follow the person for real. For real? For real. Ah, so you are serious though. Because. <laughs> Why? Because you know, make, make it be. Um, but uh, how you people managing the kidnapping thing in this country? How people are managing it? It's like? just God that is saving us from those kidnappers and all that thing. If not for the expensive things like why would somebody be kidnapping a normal human being in like if, if not if not because of things are expensive and other things are going on mm. why would you be kidnapping somebody asking for ransom that you know that there is no money you will still be asking for ransom things are just high that's why but do you ever fall almost fall into that victim? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no even pray about that. No, no, no. But no, no, how, no. how do you manage to dodge it? I can say it's just God. Just God that's Just that God. Because I'll be hearing that where some people be in there. You are moving, you are, maybe you're entering car. you be washing some wavy. Okay. Uh -huh. so How are you doing your own? Me? I don't know. I put God first. God first. And God, yes. the answer is? God, God first in everything. Uh -huh. Then I move safe. Are you seeing the God? No, it's not like I'm seeing God. Uh -huh. And then I how, how do you God. pray? But I have trust in Him. The thing is that when you believe in something, you believe in someone, your belief normally works. Your belief in normally yeah, works. Yeah, you have a good belief. What do you really believe? I believe that God exists. God yeah. exists. Yeah. Mm. yeah and so you people are praying morning and night. Yeah. Morning and night, you people are praying. Yeah. And God, they answer that prayer. Yes, He do. Mm. Because if He knows to answer our prayer, I might not be alive. You might not be alive. <laughs> But also people who are not praying, but they are still alive. They are still alive. That's mm. still the grace of. How will you call that one? That's still the grace of. Okay, God. let's just talk about. Let's talk about Ghana. Okay. Mm, let's talk about it. How do you see Ghana? Like, because I see in Nigeria now, Ghana is not trending here. Why Ghana is trending in Nigeria and for the almost mouth of people is because of what the currency. Because <laughs> now where currency is the Nigeria want to enter or something. Ghana is really a beautiful place. Mm? Ghana, Ghana is a beautiful place. Uh -huh. Beautiful. It's a nice place to be. Uh -huh. And like, you too yeah, want to people be. People there are also nice. Uh -huh. like, it's not like people in Nigeria are not nice over. Uh -huh. Ghana is cool, yeah. It's cool. It's nice. That's why it's trending here. I, I think so, to me. So you guys, it. Yeah. Okay, what message do you have for your people? My people in Nigeria. Nigerians and your people in Ghana. Because okay. a lot of Nigerians are there. Yeah, that's true. My people in Ga in Nigeria, sorry. Yeah. Nigerians and Ghana. Like, we are really trying in this Nigeria. Wow, what are you trying for? It's not easy to be al alive till this In time. this Nigeria? Seriously. Now, what of people who are there? Do you want them to come back to come join this thing or something? If, they're, if they are like doing the right thing there, mm. they are making cool money. It's not criminal, like they are not going any criminal way. Mm -hmm. Then I think they should stay. Mm, they stay. Yeah, they should stay in Ghana. Are you proud of uh, your country, right? What particular thing are you proud about? Hmm. Are you proud of Nigeria right now? What are you really proud? Are you proud of Nigeria? I don't think so. Why? Don't think so. Give me, just tell me the reason why you are not proud of Nigeria. Like I said, mm. things are high. Things are high. Things are extremely high. Uh -huh. Like they are so high. So I can't be in a country that I won't have food to eat. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of my personal needs and wants. So how can I say that I'm proud of the country? I'm proud of like, the country. Uh, wow. Mm. Now what would be your visions now as you are now? Maybe an example. Uh, like... Now, what are you thinking about? What I'm thinking about? Okay, so I think if I have an opportunity right now to leave the country, like if I am opportune to leave this country right now. To leave this country. Why if people they even take an opportunity of leaving? And you know Nigeria is a good country. Nigeria, Why are people running away? We can't stay. Like, 
It's just to... Why are you people running away from Nigeria? It's too hard to stay in. Nigeria is hard. It's hard. It's really hard right now. Right now. And all of you want to run away? Not like we want to run away. <laughs> no, it's too hard now. You say it's, Nigeria is hard. Yeah. And it's too hard to stay. That means you people are running away from the country. It's not like we are running away. Mm, it's you like have what? To run for your life first. For your life first. And what is really happened to your life? What is that? Nigerian is not safe at all. It's not safe. We are going through kidnapping, criminal, theft, and cost of living. But how can I, I not really understand the cost of living people are talking about? Sir, okay, so I should say we used to we used to buy one cup of rice mm -hmm. at, at the rate of mm -hmm. let me say at the rate of um hundred naira mm -hmm. before. Now presently now one cup of rice is two fifty three. Two fifty. Mm -hmm. Yes, you go to some places. 50 some places it to be 300 like food in in food at um aspect foods are expensive and mm. salaries will increase at all like my school fees like my school fees is really expensive and me paying my school fees is really a big deal for my parents hmm. how much can your school fees an example now why it's so presently now mm. i'm paying 140,000 small my departmental fee is twenty five. This one, is it one hundred? One hundred and forty thousand. One hundred and forty thousand. That means if you convert it to Ghana CD, it'd be one thousand, one thousand two hundred. Might be your school fees. Wow, wow. One hundred and forty. Then if you convert it to Ghana CD, it'd be one thousand two hundred naira. That is what you are paying, and you see your parents cannot afford it. But it's. Like it's a huge money here for Nigeria. Nigeria. It's a very big amount of money here in Nigeria. So as I was saying, my departmental fee is twenty five thousand. Mm, twenty five thousand is two hundred uh, now. Twenty five thousand, right? If you two hundred uh, two hundred uh, two hundred uh, and fifty Ghana city. Two hundred and fifty city. Hmm, two fifty. Yeah, wow. Wow. Now Ghana is better than your country. Far better than my country. Like now, I see the reason why they are running out. Now, Ghana is better than your country, right? <laughs> now you agree. Okay, now Ghana and Nigeria. Now in this aspect, which one is not better? Okay. Your school fees alone be one thousand two hundred. No, Ghana is right. small. Somebody can take it. Okay, now your department fees be two fifty. Yeah, okay. Now where is better? I'm sorry for saying this, my fellow Nigerian boy. Okay, now. Ghana is better. Okay, now, now, uh, the educations. Let's talk about Nigerians' education and Ghana education. <laughs> Do you think your education here is better than Ghana education? Let's be honest. Straight. In my school, I don't have any. Mm, you don't have them again? No. Mm, so they go away from? Yeah. Because they can't afford to pay? I don't know. Well, because I don't nobody, have... how can Ghanaian come and receive that kind of... Uh, do you expect Ghanaian to come and teach you on receiving like one thousand, like uh, hundred thousand in a month? Nah, like it's not because the hundred thousand is not up to their money. Nah, and how is he going it's to stay for your school? Too person? small for them. Mm -hmm. But so us in Nigeria, then that's a very okay. Now, uh, okay, what do you have again to tell the people out there? Because you now you are saying that if you have the opportunity, now you will run away. I will leave, oh. I will leave. <laughs> Can we also take your number? I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay. Are you know on WhatsApp? Yeah. How do you call on WhatsApp or WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Alright. Your number is there. Can you call your number? Yeah. So, my WhatsApp number is 091-2828-6027. Again? 091 Two eight two eight six zero two seven. Yeah, that's from my WhatsApp number. Okay, what message do you have for the Ghanaians people? content. Okay, I want to tell the Ghanaians that they are really enjoying. That <laughs> <you> continue <laughs> as you continue enjoying. 
it's really nice. Mm. Ghana, Ghana is a nice place. Mm. Yeah. Where you like to be. Yeah. If anybody yeah. won't come for you. Yeah. You will follow the best, you know. Uh, hey, you will forget Nigeria. Uh, I rather really? forget Nigeria than to suffer. Uh, you know what to do? Us? I don't want to suffer. I rather forget Nigeria than to suffer. And really? I cannot just go into hook mm. up and other things like that. I rather go in a decent way mm. than to go in the same. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Because already you don't want to follow all those, uh, no. all those, uh, ash, uh, the one where people they go to Asha for them. Yeah, prostitution, I don't want to go. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to go into prostitution or any other thing. Yeah, I just want to go it in a in a very good way. Mm. Yeah, in a good record. I don't I don't need hook up, prostitution and every other thing. So it's mm. right now. And what makes you more even your spirit not carry things like that? Like. I'm not that kind How of do you person. Feel? I don't like it. Me seeing my fellow girl doing hook up and mm. every other thing. To me, like. But Nigerians are taking it to the other way. Right? Yeah, that's them. Every everybody mentality is different. Now, what is your own mentality? Like to me, I condemn it. I How do you condemn it? I condemn. But they are making money out of it now. They are making money out of it. Does but not mean in I Ghana, not, my body. your people in Ghana, your sisters in Ghana, are making like two hundred thousand in a day by it. Okay. Imagine they are making like two hundred thousand just overnight. It's very risky. Very risky. And what is the risk? You, you don't know who you are going to meet. Mm -hmm. First of all, maybe the person might be a kidnapper, arm robber. The person can maybe a ritualist. Mm. The person can just take your life. For... How is he going to take your life? Ah. Uh, but do you like iPhone? Ah, uh, iPhone. Yeah. Okay. What make you like it? <laughs> But this one can buy them for you. No, if if I can't get it in a normal way, then yes. I'd rather use my Android. <laughs> yeah. Well, you like fancy things now. No, like. Look at you now. Your head, your head alone, it, it, it costs that much. Okay. Yeah. My head, head, my hair is ten thousand. Ten thousand. But you don't know, get one to to pay But you can afford ten thousand. Then who behind that? <laughs> There's nothing behind that too. Nothing behind that. No, it's just my. Like, I can ask my brother to But that 10,000 in Ghana is, as for now, be 60 naira, 70 naira. Jesus. Uh, it, sorry, it be 70 Ghana city, uh, uh, 70 Ghana city now. It's not big money there. She can change. You see? And to me, mm. I even have that 10,000 naira right now. Mm, no yeah. problem. <laughs> I beg you. I'll be so happy. She out my sister the sofa here. Yeah. See if you even have that ten thousand right now. That ten thousand is not even up to hundred Ghana city. You see how Nigerians are crying, happy. right? Uh, so that is it oh. That is it. Mm. You are welcome, Sha. Thank you very and, much. But we'll still reach out to you. Okay. Mm. Maybe Nami go carry you Ghana. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, please, if you want to discuss with your sister, she already put her number on the screen. Mm, as you know, my name is Master Manager Nigerius, and I'll be going on the street, as I said. Your lovely sister is here, and uh, she already introduced herself to you. <laughs> her number is on the screen already. She already called the number. You know, if you want to reach out to her, make sure see, I trust Ghanaian now. Make sure see. Encourage her, correct. I push her away, okay. Now, another package with this, so <laughs> okay. So, she already tell us what is happening in Nigeria, and you know, nobody wants to explain it. Okay, my name is Master Manager Nigerian News. I just want to appreciate all of you, thank all of you, those of you with uh, who subscribe, comment, like, and everything you are doing. I'll be waiting for you on the comment section. Room. If you want to reach out to her, it's left for you, and we are waiting for you. You again, what do you have to say? I just want to say thank you for this great opportunity. All right. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. Um, okay. I hope your WhatsApp is working. Yeah, my WhatsApp. Because people will reach out to you. I, pr I trust my people. And I hope they really reach out to me. All right. Just waiting for you, people. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Correct. <laughs>